the kind of awesome that we are uh, this close to Google, to hear the truth. I'm so happy to see all of you this morning, the makers and the manufacturers and the people who make America work. Uh, we're going to work very hard this morning because we have a very short time and we have an extraordinary panel here of experts to talk to you. I'm going to have to leave a few minutes early and I'm going to have to tell you why. As co-chair of the Arts Caucus, I have get to have lunch with six people, including Lynn, uh, Lynn Manuel Brown. I'm sure you understand the Hamilton man. We can see, uh, we'll make sure we can do that. I need to be there because I think he's going to be very helpful to the Arts Caucus. So you please excuse me. But we will meet again. I'm going to hound you off to death. And let me say right up to front to Amazon. Where's Amazon? Are they here? Oh, there you are. Of course, my old friend does uh, That Rochester would really love to have your warehouse. And <laughs> People. We can do it right for you guys. We, we know how to do it. After all, we built the Norton bomb site that won the Second World War. Okay, so welcome everybody. First, I want to thank Erica. It's so nice that Google is letting us be here this morning. And the entire team at Google for letting us use this space. Now, we have some terrific speakers. First, I want to introduce to you Tracy Frost. Tracy Frost is the Director of Manufacturing Institutes at the Department of Defense. Mark Johnson, you heard Mark? Yep. Okay, we, we talked, we came in. The Director of Advanced Manufacturing Office at the Department of Energy. And Dr. Kenny Cord, who is somewhere here, has been a fellow in my office for the last year, and from the Department of Energy. We, we just turned him away. He's morning. wonderful, yeah. he's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> Michael Lair, <clears throat> the CEO of Photonics. Nabil Nasser, the father of remanufacturing. Nabil and I were just talking about, we did a speech here at the beginning of remanufacturing over 20 years ago, Nabil? Yes, more than 20. And he, he really knows about it. He's the CEO of the Remade Institute. And Jim Zavisman, the Associate Dean for Education and New Initiatives at the University of Rochester. I think it's fitting today that we're in the D.C. headquarters of a company that has reshaped the 21st century. When Google was founded, in 1998, no one could have imagined that the world would be at our fingertips at such simple research. Today, that world has opened up to us with smartphones right in our pockets. They're getting a little pricey, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to be at my fingertips, but good luck to the rest of you. <laughs> Rochester is also reshaping our world. We're utilizing photonics, that is the science and the application of light, to revolutionize almost every aspect of our lives. We bend it, we do everything in the world with it, uh, and nobody knows better than Rochester how to do that. Photonics is being used to develop everything from the next generation smartphones and laptops to needleless me medical technologies that can monitor blood sugar levels with tiny cameras that are smaller than pills. It's improving our national defense, advancing radar technologies, and battlefield imaging. I led a three-year effort to create a Federal Photonics Institute and to bring it to Rochester. That's because I understood that Monroe County could lead the world in photonics research and along the way build the most advanced workforce anywhere. Now, as you'll hear today, that is exactly what's happening. And there are tremendous opportunities for companies like yours to get involved as we continue to grow. It's no secret that I'm bullish on Rochester. People used to walk by me in the hall and show me their Hickey Freeman labels. I was that much pissed. Uh, Rochester is home to not one, but two. I want to really bear down on this. There are 14 institutes um, and innovative manufacturing, and Rochester has two of them. That's one of the major reasons we're so proud. Along with Photonics Institute, I was proud to help our community land a clean energy manufacturing institute led by the Department of Energy called the Remade Institute. This is a collaboration of over 100 world-class research universities, national labs, industrial partners. This institute will help bolster American innovation and help secure a more sustainable future for United States manufacturing. Its applications are endless with important uses in everything from military to commercial development. 
All the while, it will save the government and industry money while creating jobs. Bringing these two institutes to Rochester required leveraging local expertise, building nationwide alliances, and a lot of hard work. No other community in America has two, but they don't call me slaughter for nothing. <laughs> and we, this is just the beginning. We are really going to put the hard sell on the world here. What we can do together, and we have to, we have to rebuild manufacturing in the United States. Some of you are already members of one or either both of these institutes, and I believe we can expand on that partnership. Some of you are considering having your company join those institutes, and we want to give you more information about it to help you make up your mind. And as you'll hear today, Rochester is not only a great place to do business, it is the place you should be doing business. It doesn't hurt that these two institutes have combined investments of approximately $750 million. The products developed and manufactured in Rochester have helped transform the 20th century. Now with these two national institutes, Rochester's positioned to be the center of innovation long into the future. Thank you so much for attending today. It means the world to me.